So picture it, it was about 1994. My dad had passed away not too long before and my mom was struggling with things and she decided that she was going to go on this bus trip. It was a group of folks that they did various trips and things like that in our little Iowa community and uh, for retirees and people of a certain age. And so my mom decided she's going to go. And uh, so they did this bus trip out to uh, New York. They went to Boston. They went to, you know, all these different places in that area. And uh, I think Pennsylvania maybe. Anyway, on this trip, she picks me up some souvenirs and various things and one of the places that they went was Cheers in Boston. And she bought me this hat. And, you know, I wasn't really a big hat wearer. But I thought, you know, it was nice. You know, it was, it's a, you know, gift for my mom. So, you know, you accept things like that. <laughs> and, and that was kind of the end of it. And I never really wore it. Until about my, oh, it would probably have been about my junior year, sophomore, junior year of college. So about five years later, something like that, four or five years later, I started wearing this hat. I got a job working at a, uh, at a horse ranch. There, they had a, there was a thoroughbred, there was a guy who owned a heating and cooling company in the Des Moines area, and he had a um, kind of a side venture with thoroughbred racehorses, and I was doing all kinds of jobs, but most of it was outside watering trees planting trees mowing grounds some help with the horses but mostly grunt crap work on the yard and the property anyway i needed a hat but i wanted a hat that i was like all right i don't care if i trash it and i didn't have a huge collection of hats anyway so i nabbed this one up and it's been kind of my work hat ever since and uh, I tell you what, I've been wearing and working with this hat on for for years, and I threw it through the washing machine, and the bill is falling apart, the sides are falling apart, the back strap is about to fall apart. It used to be black, but now it's gray and faded and worn and torn well i tell you what if you stop in to the cheers bar in boston mass and you pick up a work hat from them you're going to get at least 20 years of work out of that thing because i've gone over 20 years of work outside wearing this hat it's gone through the washing machine a few times but it's been in the sun, it's been in the rain, it's had sweat, blood, and tears, and paint, and everything else all over it, and uh, the sucker just don't quit. So, now you know.
Thanks for watching me slop around in the mud and tell a story. If this one suits your fancy, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It goes a long way. I love new subscribers, individuals that are spreading the word on my channel and what I'm doing out here. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Hopefully on a little bit less rainy day. But we do what we got to do, right?